Wasabi guys, coming back at y'all with yet another one of my Commander must-have videos. If you're unfamiliar with the series, what I do is I go over some more recent cards. I usually just pick one, and I go and look at some of the more recent sets. The most recent set is Ixalan, so we're going to be looking at Vona Butcher of Magan. One of the legendaries from the set, she is 5 mana in Orzhov colors for a 4-4 legendary vampire knight. With Vigilance and Lifelink, she has an activated ability of tap to pay 7 life to destroy destroy target non-land permanent you can only activate that during your turn. So very much like a pay seven life for a Vindicate on an activated ability, which is really the main incentive to want to play her, put her in your deck, and automatically just fits in pretty well in the Edgar Markov Vampire deck. Now this doesn't mean that she can't offer you that bit of removal, that bit of control in other decks. If you want to put her in some sort of Esper control deck, like say a Loro, that also works because you're gaining a ton of life, so paying seven doesn't seem that big of a deal. And you also get removal of non land permanence. Well, as of the making of this video, she is a little over $2 for the regular non-foil version. The pre-release version is around $10 for that foil, and the regular foil from the set is around $7, so you can expect there's a little bit of a premium there for the foils of Legendary Mythics. They tend to be a little bit more expensive. As a commander, I think she has potential. I think if you want to go with 1v1 dual commander, having the potential to each one of your turns destroy their best non-land permanent is very strong strong and it's going to help you keep your opponents down. However, I really don't think she has the best potential as a commander. I think she's much better as one of the 99 to fit in as one of the vampires in a vampire deck or to fit in as just more removal on a creature, which is always underrated. If you can get your card draw, if you can get your land drops from your creatures, if you can get your removal from your creatures, your consistency in your deck is going to be a lot better. You're going to afford to do a lot more with a lot different cards. You don't necessarily have these many holes in your deck where you're missing a lot of removal or you're missing a lot of consistency or just control in general when your creatures can do that for you and also be pretty decent creatures because vigilance and lifelink for 4-4 all for 5 mana is still pretty good that's a pretty good creature for that mana and another upside here the main reason why I advocate for cards is because they're multi-purpose they're multi-dimensional they're not just linear only good in one specific deck Vona has potential in control decks just as much as she does in vampire decks I think she's very strong as one of the 99 in both of those different decks. And even considering the synergies with your typical black-white life gain deck, something like Karlov of the Ghost Cancel, Ailey, Eternal Pilgrim, these are both awesome commander options that would definitely love to have Vona as one of the 99 just for that extra bit of removal. In addition to lifelink, it's always underrated whenever creatures have these good static abilities because she also has vigilance. Once you swing with her first, you deal the damage, you gain that bit of life. So in reality, it's only like paying three life to then tap and activate her ability. So what you end up getting is just a good attacker, a decent blocker, and you get something that can tap to then destroy a non-land permanent, which is likely going to be the biggest problem on the field whether it be an enchantment artifact planeswalker or creature having that versatility is always awesome not able to destroy lands but who really cares the only real downside that i can think is the fact that you have to do this only on your turn i obviously like keywords such as flash having the advantage of timing on your side is always something that i find important it helps you play the game, so if there is any negative aspect to this card, it is the fact that she doesn't have the ability to give you that advantage when it comes to timing. Being able to respond to what your opponents are trying to do, I always think it's better if you can respond to what your opponents are doing, you don't really need to worry about them as much. So when it comes to control, I think that she's a little bit weaker in that aspect, but if you're willing to compromise and say, hey, I have a pretty good creature as one of the 99, Maybe I can just throw in some stuff like Anguished Unmaking, let that serve as my instant speed removal, and this can be sort of a backup just sitting on the field whenever I want to use her on my turn. I can then do that. And another good point here is that she only says activate this ability on your turn, which means that you can still use it at instant speed. It just has to be on your turn. So if your opponents are trying to do something on your turn, maybe you could respond. But when it comes to responding to your opponent's stuff, most of the time it's going to have to be on their turn, which is a huge downside, but still pretty good. One of the 99 for sure. If there's a single legendary in the set that I can say is the most flexible in how many decks you can fit them into. Vona is definitely the best. I think Ashath is obviously a good commander option. Admiral Beckett Brass 
very linear, very weak, specific towards pirates, not really flexible. And Tishana might be the only one I could think that would be as flexible as Vona. Maybe a little bit more, but I definitely feel like when it comes to just power and consistency, being able to reuse removal on an activated ability is always good. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about Vona Butcher of Magad. Do you have her in any of your commander decks? Is she even one of your commanders? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Void here signing off.